In this video, uh, I will show how to repair a problem I had with my Shimano XTR brakes. Um, that problem is the uh, lever assembly rattling on one of the uh, levers. Um, that's super annoying, so anytime you hit a bump, this would be for you to move around. Uh, beyond the annoying, um, that changes where you reach and uh, introduces extra free play. I'll try to get a close up of this in a second. Uh, so, not only do you have to reach further, but the first uh, several millimeters of movement, I guess that's what three quarters of an inch, depending on where you have the lever adjusted, uh, is just free play. So, you don't get to start moving fluid and thereby uh, engaging the brakes at all. Um, see, this side does not have that issue, uh, and this side has this free play. So, let's see if we can get a closer look at that. So all this room does not engage the brake at all. And as you can see, you can't push the lever further out from where it is now. See on, let's see, this side, the lever can be pushed further forward, but it's spring-loaded against the master cylinder engagement point. So when you let go, it stops by itself there and it doesn't extend further. Whereas on this side, you've got this free play and it rattles as I covered earlier. Okay, let's start the repair. Um, apparently, Shimano actually sells uh, the lever assembly, which I ordered directly from them. Uh, these levers feel great, by the way. They are made of carbon fiber and they have excellent tactile feedback. I was very, very happy to see that uh, you could buy just the lever. It wasn't super cheap, about $40 uh, today, um, but you know when you're looking at a high-end uh, bike component, um, I just feel lucky that I could buy this thing uh, at all, even though all I needed was one of these springs. I'll open the package and give you a better look. Here's the lever assembly. Pretty cool little piece. So all I actually needed was one of these springs. There are two. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can refocus. So here's one on one side and here's the other right there uh, and you can see the other end of it here anyway so one of these uh, springs makes the lever pulls the lever back after you apply the brakes makes it come out this way and the second lever keeps the lever against the sec I'm sorry the second spring keeps the lever against the master cylinder engagement point like on this side as I showed you earlier squeeze let go, it stops. It does not go any further unless you push. I actually kind of like to play with that on the trail, but that's a video for a different day. Anyway, let's, let's get started with the repair. The first thing we need to do is pop this little rubber cover out of this hole. And to do that, we're going to use a little pick. Here's a little pick. Let's use it. Got it, tiny. Now behind that, I believe is a 2.5 millimeter, let's see if I can zoom in, is a 2.5 millimeter Allen bolt. Here's my two and a half. Let's stick it in there and take it out. Look. 
I believe you don't have to remove this all the way. This is just a keeper. Um, we're removing that to get rid of this little pin. Oh, I could push it by hand. That's nice. So just pushing on the bottom side, pulling from the top. While I spoke too soon, I'll need to push from the bottom with something else. Here's the bottom side of the lever. Here's the pin. So I'm just going to push that through with the socket. Oh, that wasn't hard. And here it is from the top. The lever is removed. So as you can see, there's one spring on this side, but no spring on this side. So let's compare these two. All assembly, no spring on this side. I guess it's broken off and has left this earth. And the two and a half Allen we took out earlier goes into this groove and keeps this pin in place, which then holds the lever in place. All right, let's get on to installation. Okay, so what I think will work best, and I haven't done this yet, but I've been trying to look at the other side to figure it out, um, is to align both these little springs to face forward similar to uh, each other towards the adjustment knob. Some of these brakes, some of these XTR brakes do not have this adjustability as a separate knob, but they all have a screw. But I believe the construction of the lever is the same. So here's one of the springs. Point to with the pick right there. And here's the other one. So I'm pointing them both forward. And I will try to let's see if I can zoom in. I will try to insert them, insert it with the springs in the forward position as I just showed you. Like so. That looks fairly well aligned, so I will try to push the pen from underneath. Well, it's just wiggling, working a little at a time. At this point, you can sort of see through the opening, you can, I'll wiggle the pin a little more. They're not perfectly aligned. So I'm just going to continue trying my best here to align them and push the pin in. I'm going to use the pick to uh, help the alignment. Keep wiggling and pushing. Oh, there it goes. Did that work? It seems to have worked. Wow. The pin isn't all the way in, so I'm going to continue pushing and wiggling, but the feel is there. Oh, you know what? I think the pin is uh, upside down compared to the other side. I did not expect that problem. So you can see the, the top of the pin here is beveled. Let's get a little indentation right there. And this side is not. I mean, obviously it wouldn't hurt anything, but as OCD as I am, I'm gonna go and push that back out. I'll use my two and a half Allen. Okay, let's, let's out. So we'll go from the other side. I'm holding the lever in place so it doesn't move much. Wiggle, wiggle. So now I'll need to use the pin from underneath. So all I'm doing is, see if I can get your shot. I have the pin on, I have the uh, pick underneath going into the same hole. Which is right here. Trying to align things. 
Oh, I think it's moved a bit. You can see my finger here pushing on the pin while I do that. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so here we go. It's coming back to the normal location. Of course, I'll have to adjust the stop. I think the Shimano uh, replacement knob was shipped uh, with the adjustment completely backed out. So I'll screw it back in, which as you can see, changes the park position of the lever each time I spin this. So we'll adjust it out. It's, seems almost correct. Let's go a little bit more. Feels good. Comes back. Got decent feel. So as soon as I put the uh, adjustment, as, as soon as I tighten the adjustment screw back, I think this is a complete repair. That was easier than I thought it would be. Famous last words, right? So there's the, the set screw, which I didn't remove. We just used this two and a half Allen. So I will now take the old one out. Here it is. So now we have to put it in the replacement. Pretty tight. I'll snug it up. It should be plenty tight. There we go. So just like the other side now, should be able to use the brakes. It's nice and solid feel. And uh, yeah, it returns back when you let go. Should not rattle. It's pretty nice. Just, just as with this side. All set.